Namaskaram. It's wonderful to be back in Udupi. Um, I think probably I was here last year or maybe just December of 2022 is the last time I was here. And it's always such a beautiful place. It somehow has that small town charm, but because everybody is so uh, involved in the temple activities here, it's it's like everybody is all one big village sort of a feel. So it's, it's a wonderful community, wonderful place. And... Uh, Usually has a very good weather also in this region, so and, and really good food. <laughs> so I think a lot of things come together, and, and Udupi is such a magical place. I love to be here. I'm so happy to be here again. I think many people, including yourself, know about satisfaction of one's profession or their journey and uh, how that's more important than all other things. So I, I did study. I was on the path to becoming a lawyer in the U.S., but somewhere in the middle, my music uh, interest took over. And... I, I don't. I don't want to say that everybody should just blindly drop everything and follow, you know, some uh, liking of theirs or some hobby. But at the same time, if you have a strong enough passion, um, you must pursue it. And I think that I had a good support system. Of course, my gurus, my parents, my family, my siblings, all supported that so much that I was able to just jump in into that and follow my passion. And uh, you know, things have worked out. Knock on wood, things are working out, and I'm. You know, no regrets. I'm so happy that I'm able to do this. See, there's some, um, you could say, gods, goddesses, or whatever you want to call them, in our, in our history, in our mythology, in in our culture, in our you know, uh, belief system of India, that were musicians themselves. They were masters of music, and that is one aspect of their divinity itself is the music. So we talk about Saraswati, we talk about Shiva, we talk about Nandi. But of course, Krishna is the master of the flute. And he could literally, he could do magic with the flute. It wasn't just like a musician. So the connection between Sri Krishna and music is something that goes hand in hand, intertwined. So many of our compositions are composed with reverence to Lord Krishna. Lot, many, many compositions towards Lord Krishna and Rama, especially Krishna. And especially, see, I'm from Chennai, my background is Tamar, especially even in Tamar culture, with Andal Tirupave is so important in Margari. The, the, the reverence and the sort of respect that we have towards Krishna is so special. Um, of course, to all of the gods and goddesses, but something very special always about Krishna. I think also because the nature of music and musicians is very playful, like Krishna. So there's something that's very divine, there's something that's so passionate, something that's so focused, yet at the same time there's something so creative, something so playful, something that can be very manipulative even in a musician, and that's also Krishna in a nutshell, right? So I think so many characteristics by default are there connecting Krishna with, with our music, especially Carnatic music. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much.